What's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial in Adobe After Effects CC. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get started with 3D and After Effects. Let's get started over here. I'm going to go File, New, and select New Project. Then we're going to go Composition, select New Composition. Right here, I have it set 1280 by 720, 60 frames per second. We'll call the composition Adobe Easy. Select OK. Next, what we're going to do is create ourselves a shape. Right here, we have the Rectangle tool, but I'm going to left click on it, hold it, select the Ellipse tool. And we have a color of orange over here. Next on the timeline, I'm going to select the 3D option, which is this 3D box right here. And what After Effects is doing right now is just preparing the environment for a 3D project. Right here, I'm going to select Ray Trace 3D. The reason why I'm selecting this and showing you guys this is because with my computer, I have an integrated graphics card made by Intel. So what I'm going to do is use the Ray Trace 3D at draft. And then when I want to render, I'll just go back here, increase the quality of the draft. And what we'll do is select one of these options so it makes the project look even more polished. And that's what it's all about. So let's select OK for now. Select OK right there. And then what we're going to do is select some different options for the geometry options to make it a 3D object. And we have bevel depth and extrusion depth. First, what we'll do is select the bevel style, and that's going to be convex. Bevel depth can be 4. Extrusion depth can be, I would say, 50. Next, what we're going to do is select this rotation tool, rotate the object. Now you can kind of see it's a 3D object, but again, this is not a polished 3D project right now. So to change that, what we're going to do is go to Layer, New, and select Light. And think about this like Lights, Camera, Action. That's the way you can remember how to do this. So the first light we're going to select is for Ambient, select 50% Intensity, select OK. Next we're going to go Layer, New, and select Light again. This time we're going to select Point, and we're going to set this at 25. Next we're going to go Layer, New, select Light again. We have a spotlight, and let's make this 50. Now what we can do is take this rotation tool, and this looks like a really nice project right now. It actually looks a little bit like a coin. Now let's say that you want to animate this. It's very easy to do. We're going to select transform, and we have a Y rotation. So in the beginning of the timeline, we're going to set a keyframe right here for the Y rotation. Scrub on the timeline, and for the Y rotation, we'll set at 360. Press spacebar to get a preview of this. And there you go, you have a spinning 3D object. What we can also do is add a camera. And what the camera allows you to do is actually view different angles of the object. So what we're going to do is go to Layer, New, and select Camera. And we have different options for the camera here. You can select different presets. I'm going to leave it at this one and select OK. Then you can take this Unify Camera tool. I can press Command on my keyboard to move the object around. Command Z. You can also press Control and zoom in and zoom out while left clicking. Also with these lighting layers I want to show you guys, you could lock the shape layer and then if you want to double click on this light layer and adjust the options, you can do that. Cancel that out. You can also move the light around if you want. The reason why I lock the shape layer is because often when I try to move the lights around when you have the object right there, it gets a little bit tricky because they're overlapping. So you just want to make sure you can actually just control the light that you want. And then with the camera option here, you can start animating this too in these features here. So really, it's all about how you want to edit and animate your project if you're going to do that. Now another thing cool with 3D, and a lot of people ask me about this all the time, is 3D text. So I'm going to show you guys how to utilize that. So let's start something new because we're going to be working with text now. Select the text tool. I'm going to type in Adobe Easy. Same thing here. We're going to select the 3D option. Then we're going to select the geometry options. First, we're going to select the bevel style of convex. Bevel depth will set at 4. Excursion depth will set at 20 for now. And then we're going to do is go layer, new, select light. Select OK. Layer new, select light again, select a point, 25, select layer new, select light. For ambient, we're going to set this at, let's say 40. Go layer new, select camera, we'll use this camera again. And I'm just adjusting the light because, you know, when you have the default from After Effects, it's not always perfect. So what you do is just select each layer and just move the light around so you can read the text easily. And you can also adjust the text. I notice this text is a little bit close together. I'm just separating the text a little bit. And I'm changing the style here because I just noticed some of the text, especially that A is not impressing me too much the way it is. So I'm selecting a different one called Angular here. And just defined the A a little bit more. It made it look a little bit better, at least to me. 
So these are things you can do and accomplish when you want to edit your project and just make it a little bit you know, more to your liking. Next what we're going to do is actually animate this and there's some really cool After Effects presets that we can use. And if you type in right over here 3D, you'll see we have 3D text options and there's a lot of them. And also if you want to hide these options that show you how to adjust the lights while you're doing this, you can do that. All you have to do is go to view and then we're going to select this show layer controls. Select that option and it hides that. So it just makes it a lot easier when you want to view the animations because those get in the way. So we're going to take this first effect, left click on it, apply it to the text, and then let's scrub on the timeline and see what that looks like. It's a very basic animation. Let's take another one. Um, this one's called 3D Bouncing and Centered. And that's pretty cool too. Look at that. So a lot of different effects here, as you can see. But those are some pretty basic ones that I wanted to show you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this intro tutorial to 3D animation in After Effects. If you guys have any questions, post your comments down below. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.